We talked about a little bit about it last week. You just kind of find that extra gear, and Coach talked about it today, just being able to be more in shape. I mean, what were you kind of doing that allowed you to get more in shape, and what difference have you really been able to see? Uh, you know, it's just pushing myself at practice, you know. Uh, even when I'm tired, you know, I might give myself an extra two reps and push myself even more on those. Last week you joked, I didn't know I was that fast. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So, Joe said you've hit another gear this year in terms of catching balls and just sprinting away from guys, right? Is that the case? Uh, yeah, I mean, shoot, that came out of nowhere. I mean, uh, I had did it again today. I, somebody told me I look slow today, so uh, I don't know. It's just some days I feel good, some days I don't. Joe jokes you're good for his stats. You know, you catch a two yard pass and run 80 right. yards. That's had his number. Right. <laughs> that's what we're we trying to do. <laughs> Y'all have also been really effective in the red zone this year, per 27 to 27, and the touchdown rate is up. Why is it, maybe is it this offense or something that y'all have done to get more effective in the red zone than you were last year? Um, I know we're throwing the ball a lot more this year in the red zone. And um, last year, I mean, we're still mixing it up, but I know this year we're throwing it more than we did last year. Is there something schematically that's more effective for it? Uh, no, I think it's just like we're trying to get them off, uh, um, like not setting stuff so we get the ball hard up and snap. I think that's that's the case. So staying often, staying aggressive. Right, right. How often do y'all work on red zone? Uh, I think we work on red zone every Monday and um, every Monday and Thursday. Is that the way y'all did it last year too, or are you working on it more this year than you had in the past? Uh, we still do the same way as last year. You know, we might just put in more plays. That's it. When you look at ten catches for two hundred twenty nine yards, it's kind of wild that I just do that. Numbers like that. Oh uh, yeah, that is kind of crazy. I mean. Shoot, that's like, you in high school getting stats like that, you bring it to college, I mean, that's something you should be proud of. I mean, that's not something you see literally every day. I mean, it's hard to get that kind of stuff. Yeah. You wouldn't adjust the Jefferson kid to kind of put kind of patience for getting numbers going, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're trying to um, add in uh, our receiving yards at the end of the year, try to make that another bet. So uh, we just see how the half of the season goes. You got to have a bet for it right now? Uh, now nah, we just got the touchdown bet. I think we, me and him, been talking about the receiving bet, but uh, we got to find out what's the what's going to be the equal to. So after the bet's over, we got to find something. What has practice kind of been like uh, with Terrace obviously out of you? How have you seen the other guys in that wide receiver room kind of stepping up this week, knowing that there might be a couple more balls that may become available if not? Uh, I think only only thing we got to do is step up for the new guys that's coming in. Uh, just knowing our plays, that's that's really the big key for the offense. You know, just know your plays and uh, be confident in yourself and. That when you get open, you got to make the play. Anybody that you've seen in that wide receiver maybe stepping up a little bit? Uh, I mean, it's first day. I mean, I still got a lot to look at. Huh? We all do. So, I mean, until then, then I'll have an answer. So, I'm trying to understand the bet. Right. Waffle House or $100. Uh -huh. You can go to eat a Waffle House like 10 times with 100 bucks, right? right? Right. But just one time, Waffle House? Or? Uh, I mean, whoever wins the bet. Well, whoever loses the bet got to buy everybody Waffle House. Everybody. Everybody got to buy Waffle House. And then uh, whoever wins the bet has to get $100 from the loser. So that's okay. how we're doing. So but it's I all think the it's, wide receivers we're talking about going nah, to eat? I think it's just uh, me and Jets on $100 and uh, me, Jets, and uh, Terrence on the Waffle House in $100. Okay. Got to have more people in there, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Did, um, one more thing. Do you know is, is Joe's arm stronger this year than last year? Oh, definitely. Um, we be in here sometimes just throwing routes, and I, I can tell that Joe's arm got bigger. I mean, uh, he always overthrows me, which is rare. But um, I mean, I don't know where it came from. He might be doing some extra arm strength or something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he definitely gets stronger with his arm. Coach was talking about how Utah State runs kind of like a really quick offense, really fast offense for you guys. You guys do something similar with like the warp offense. I mean, what kind of is that and you know, how does it kind of help you guys? Uh, I mean, I think it's just us getting our defense ready in the game and stuff like that. I mean, we do it on uh, practice on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I think it's just, I think it's just another way to get our defense ready for the game. Good. Watch. Thanks. Thanks.